How the whole thing has just snowballed has really been great. We've really thrived off it from coming fresh out of college and really learning our craft from such a practical level in the industry. I don't think there's any better way we could have done it. I think one of the most rewarding things for me is not being the independence or the control. It's been watching something develop and grow from absolutely nothing and achieving the goals that were set a year previous when we were sitting here with a desk and, and a crappy little laptop. After all the hard work of creating a company that now has a team built around it that's just as invested in the growth and progress of the business as I am, I think that's where we really came on to a winner. In the past year I've witnessed a noticeable increase in my skills as a designer. Starting off as a freelancer uh, during college, doing work for Dione in all the spare time I could get, upon going to university, to now working as lead designer for an agency has really shown me uh, the amount I can do, the amount I can progress in my career. I've just started at the only creative. My role is to implement strategies and systems in the business and to help with sales and marketing. They're a great company to work for. I haven't been here for very long but the environment's fantastic and Alistair is a great boss to work for. I really can't wait to see what year two has to offer. We've plans to potentially open our second office. Things are really getting quite serious. This is so important to us as a young business and as a startup. And because we are a young business and a startup, everything that we do at this stage and every project we push out the door has to be perfect. Without the support from ENIG and the team that run this amazing building that we're in and just being surrounded by so many other amazing startups and being able to support each other and share advice with each other, um, it's been an amazing time for the whole digital sector and whole in general. <laughs>